I saw this dress. I immediately texted to my friend said, look, Forever 21. She went, what? No. Like 10 minutes later, ordering now. Hi guys, welcome back. So this should be a fun video. Um, you know when you walk down the street and someone goes, oh my God, where did you get that? And um, you go, oh, I got it from so-and-so. And they go, what? So this video is about, I don't want to say shocking, but they are the things, this is such a pleasure to do this video, by the way. These are the things that you find that elicit that kind of response from someone. So this was fun. I found all these things for you. So enjoy, sit back and just keep watching. Okay, so first up are Statement Earrings. Now they have made a massive, massive comeback this season and I am all about it. Um, I saw these particular two pairs of earrings. I mean, I've seen them in so many different price points that I love, but I saw these two because they're cheap and cheerful. Look at these earrings by Mango. I still can't believe actually, by, by the way, that these are by Mango. They're so gorgeous. These look like Celine. If you are into minimal, just very simplistic, clean lines, you have to, girl, get these. Just, just get these damn earrings. I love the size of them. They're just big enough to be a statement. If you're the kind of person that loves simplistic, minimal style, you have to get these flipping earrings. Please tell me, you just, just, just get these damn earrings. That's what I'm gonna say. <laughs> Second up are a pair from Topshop and they are their U-shape drop earrings. They come in at $18, gorgeous. Same thing for the mango, super architectural, very modern looking, very contemporary. And you put these on with a pair of strappy looking flat sandals, leather, and you've got your bag in your hand. Oh, it's gonna look so, so, Good, I'm actually picturing outfits for these particular earrings that I'm showing you. Anyway, those two, ding ding, and they're pink as well, but it shows you that you can wear pink in a much more contemporary, tougher, unexpected fashion. And I reckon if any of you get either of those earrings, someone is going to say to you, oh, I love your earrings. Next, next up is a handheld bag. Now, the type that I think are electing the best complement at the moment are what is currently trending, which are the straw wicker and the wood-based bags. I'm going to show you one which is mid price point and one which is lower price point. First up is the infamous now Cult Gaia bag, which I've already done a separate video. I'll link it on below. But let me tell you, I mean, I have the one, the original, the bamboo wood finish. I'm not exaggerating. Every time I wear this, I get compliments. And you know what's so weird? Men too. It's just, it's just one of those bags that you put it on, guaranteed, you step out the house, someone is gonna say something about this bag to you. And it's just, it just gets so much attention. And I don't know why, because it's been around for so long, but I think that outside of the internet and the Instagram world, you actually don't really see this bag that often. I mean, I live in New York for God's sakes. I've walked around with this bag and I'll go all day, several days, and I won't see one person carrying the Cult Gaia bag. So, but within the Instagram community, you kind of see it on a lot of places if there's certain influences that you follow. But so yeah, I say buy with safety, buy, buy away. And I saw this restocked, I'll link it below. Hopefully it's still in stock by the time this video gets published. And they also, Cult Guy, have come out with a black one, a black wood version of this. And it's on, um, I forget, where did I see it? I'll link it below as well. But oh my God, the black version. This is for that same girl who's got that kind of very clean, minimalist aesthetic. She's gonna be all over the black version of this because that's exactly what it screams. This screams vintage, but the black one screams modern and contemporary. So you're welcome. <laughs> For a lower end price point, Etsy, get your asses on flipping Etsy and get to look at some of these flipping links I'm gonna put down below for you. These bags are brilliant, handheld. I prefer handheld because I think, depending on what you're wearing, handheld to me just looks really, really, um, just more practical and it kind of completes your outfit and it makes you look like you made an effort just because you're holding it in your hand. It's a bit like when you put shades on, you instantly look like you put an effort in your outfit even if you're just wearing a t-shirt and jeans. It's the same principle with a handheld bag. Also functionality reasons. For example, I wouldn't wear a crossbody or a shoulder bag with the top I'm wearing right now because it's just going to interrupt this line and to keep that look 
all the time throughout the day, just have a handheld bag instead and you don't disturb, you know, the style of your top off the shoulder like this. When you've got an interesting neckline, why spoil it? And especially if you've got them like, you know what I hate the most? You know when you're wearing like a crew neck or something, or worse, a V-neck, and you've got a shoulder bag strap on and then it just like pulls it. And so you see women walking down the street with these fucked up necklines. On Need Supply, I saw the Abco, what I call grocery bag. It's a kind of old fashioned bag that you would think people in Europe, I think Spain, a woman sort of like Sophie Loren type, you know, like Senorita and she's got like a ruffled off the shoulder dress, almost like a life size version of the red emoji, the ruffled dress girl. It's just come from her local fruit market, fruit and veg, and she's just got one of those expandable straw net, those net bags oh I love that look anyway that is such a cool look and to wear that contrasted with say your skirt or with denim I love that look you just wear a pair of simple slides but oh and look at the price can you believe that is the price of it I mean these are the things that I think they're little details that to me someone is going to say oh that's such a cute bag that's such a cute earrings Oh, I love those. Next up are these H&M espadrilles, is these flat espadrilles. Now I caved and got these in the black. I love them. When I wear them, I actually do get compliments, which is kind of weird because they're just espadrilles, but they remind me a little bit of Castaner's, but this is obviously the budget version because they're like, what, $29.99? They come in white, they come in black, and I think they come in one other color, which I'll probably show you here on the screen. Fan fantastic espadrilles such a good bang for your buck so simple so chic you're going to keep these in your wardrobe for years guaranteed and because they're so simple it's the kind of thing where someone will go oh where did you get those espadrilles from because there's nothing happening on them there's no there's no ornate crack because i find that espadrilles these days are getting so ornate they've got like one word here one word there and they've got like you know burger and fries on each foot so, Sometimes, sometimes you don't mess with a classic. Then I want to, okay, I have to show you this dress. It's from Next. It's their broderie, uh, broderie anglaise. I think that's how you pronounce it. Midi dress, straight neck, straps, in, out, beautiful. Broderie anglaise dresses are the kind of, those material that's made out of that, guaranteed you can order it online with your eyes closed you know it's going to look good because it's such a pretty material it's almost like eyelet material i believe this is 100 percent cotton so it fits in perfectly for this time of the year because it's breathable and it just looks so timeless it looks really pretty and it's 65 pounds um, i believe that next does ship to the us and there's also a next us site as well so this dress is gorgeous 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 wear it with those um, espadrilles I was just telling you about. Perfect. <laughs> okay, look at these. I literally saw these sandals at the same time that this video is being made. Anyone can guess where these are from? Anyone? H&M. H&M, red, two classic little straps across with two little dinky bows on, which looks so, to me, reminiscent of a much more expensive designer shoe. I love these. They're so beautiful and so, so simple. Again, it's the kind of shoe, at least for me, if I saw someone wearing those and she's got like, you know, like a pedicure and she's got those simple looking sandals or that, I probably would stop her and say, oh, excuse me, where'd you get your sandals? They're really cute. But they are, right? Aren't they cute? I think they're really, oh, and they come in black as well. Oh, they're so nice and they're so inexpensive. Anyway, if anyone is going to get them, please let me know, tag me on Instagram, show me you wearing them, let me know if I should get them too, because I think they're really adorable. If you love the scalloped swimsuit trend made famous by the designer Mary Sia, then you are gonna thank me for this right here. This. I believe she also did a version of this, but this is not from Mary Sia. It's not from Letter Porte, it's not from Matches, it's not from Farfetch, it's not from Saks, it's not from Nordstrom. <sighs> okay, I'll put you out of misery. It's from Target. Yes, it's from Target. So pretty. I think that you can pair this so nicely outside of the swimming pool and wear it with a high-waisted pair of jeans or even better, a high-waisted or at least a waist-high midi skirt because so much of your arms are out, you contrast that and have a sort of semi-covered-up bottom. I'm saying that because I ordered the damn thing. 
I think it's just absolutely fantastic. It comes in about five different colors, including white, including white, and I think this is gonna look so chic, maybe for going out for the evening. You wear that, you put on the midi skirt, heels, and a pair of hoodies. I'm probably gonna wear this on Instagram one day. <laughs> Wait till you see this next thing. Look at this dress. I'll just give you a moment just to look at this dress because I'm showing you different angles of it. March 11, March 11 dresses. Love March 11. The dresses are amazing. This is not from March 11. This dress is from Forever 21. I have no words. I, just, I can just drop the mic right here. Let's just end the video here. Forever 21, brr, you know, just cut. I saw this dress. I immediately texted to my friend, said, look, Forever 21. She went, what? No. Then she got it. I didn't order it. I was thinking about it, but I didn't order it. Then she got it. She FaceTimed me wearing the dress. I fucking fell off my chair. She went, Karen, this is good. This is really good. It looks stunning on her. And I ended up ordering it as well even though I was the one who showed it to her in the first place. It's gorgeous. It has a swing to it. The sleeves are full. The, the pattern on it going down the side. Oh. I ordered the dress and the only reason I'm not going like, here's my dress, is because it's coming in the mail as we speak. And by the time this video goes up, I'll probably already, in fact, I will already have it. Definitely make sure you're following me on my Instagram so you can at least see it in action. But the dress is so good and it comes in other colors look look it comes in like this blue and it comes in white it comes in white anyway i just got the red for now because the red is just absolutely stunning and it's the color that i've always liked in march 11 dresses sort of in pyramid of order red is the color that i like the most in those style of dresses everything else falls underneath anyway i had to share that with you least I'm going to end with Kurt Geiger they are a British brand as just like next is and they have two pairs of shoes that made me go oh, oh. Like, you know like oh just hot it's just you just get hot for a minute these shoes okay if you follow me on Instagram you know about those Gucci shoes that I love so much the ones with the hands the, the rhinestone bejeweled hands one hand on each oh. God, I love this shoe so much. Anyway, I never caved, I didn't get them, which is probably a good thing because, I don't know, I just shouldn't, I just have to be good. But look at these by Kurt Geiger. I know, I know, oh my God, they're so gorgeous. I know, I, I can almost hear you lot going, oh God, those are quite nice. Anyway, that's the navy, and they also come in pink as well. All links are below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Why am I saying thank you? I should be saying you're welcome because I'm telling you. And, and last but not least are the Otter Slides by Kurt Geiger. These come in at $165. I am absolutely officially obsessed with these fucking shoes. Look how gorgeous, I'm sorry, excuse my French, but look how, oh! You cannot tell me that you wouldn't see someone walking down the street wearing those, either, either color in the dark pair, look, or the off-white cream gold combo pair. And you're not gonna say to somebody, oh my gosh, I love your shoes, where are they from? I do this all the time, it's why my blog is called Where Did You Get That? Because I'm so fucking nosy. But anyway, oh, they're so beautiful, so nice. If someone was sitting next to me on the train and she's got her legs crossed and she was wearing those. Oh. Okay, so that's my lot. Those are my favorite items that I have seen online currently that to me will definitely get someone to go, oh my God, where did you get those shoes? Where did you get that dress? Where did you get those earrings? Where did you get that blouse? Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I just think there's certain things that just elicit that in people. You probably have items in your wardrobe that do that, right? They get people to go, oh my gosh, I love your bag, where's it from? You know, th there's just certain things that just do that. Anyway, that's what this video was about. It was about sort of slightly shocking, left field, unexpected places to search for things. Like I've always said, always look in the most unexpected of places. I got that white dress, which I showed you in the video before. 
that's it because some of you actually got that white dress after i showed it here and you've been saying to me on instagram oh my god got the dress love it so good so good and a friend of mine who watches me on youtube she got the dress as well she loves it she goes karen that was a good find anyway you've got to stop showing all this crap because you're making me go break in fact tell me in the comments below what is your item in your wardrobe that just gets compliments it's like guaranteed like me it's a cult guy bag it's these earrings as well um there's just certain things that you wear you've got them that people just either stop you on the street or it's just it's just the way it is and it's just things that why is my top falling down anyway it's just things like that that just do that in people and i love that i love in case you hadn't noticed already i love that that's what happens that's the kind of reaction that certain things you buy kind of bring out in people and also it's a great way to just start a conversation with a complete stranger isn't it yeah so that's my lot but um i will see you next week and um, if you like this video please do give it a thumbs up and i guess subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and follow me on instagram and snapchat my name is karen britchick i am currently away in st lucia so these videos are going up they're pre-recorded to go up every friday because i want to make sure that i'm showing you videos every friday even though i'm not here currently <laughs> anyway you can follow me on there so you can see what i am actually getting up to on a daily basis from the caribbean and yeah that's it that is my lot oh and that forever 21 dress i'm definitely gonna wear that on instagram <gasps> oh i can't wait by the time this video goes up actually the timing of me doing this video that dress should come tomorrow oh god i just can't wait i hate when you're waiting for things to arrive it pisses me off anyway I'll see you next week. Bye. And on Need Supply, I saw the Abco grocery bag. The Abco. Bleh. And look at the price. How much is it? Let me see. It's like a little pip that you need for your day. Pip? What the fuck is a pip? I know I'm butchering that word because I never say bordery. I know I'm saying that. Bordery? 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 Oh, God, I fucking give up.